Hello guys, this is Nippon from Nippon Studio and this is the second After Effects tutorials and today we're going to create the effects let's say matte painting okay and also tracking and let's take a look okay here guy because some people told me that I'm going too slow on the previous tutorial the the smooth skins but you know the reason why I'm going slow because like some of the people they don't really get that fast I mean you know I mean they, they're, they're not slow but they just want to be more clear so that's why I'm like to go a little bit slow okay so I'm trying to understand yes no yes okay let's start it okay so okay let's import that drag it down and let's okay just stream that out and see which part do you want it okay so basically now you have to think where you wanted your tracker would be okay so you just can't really film random thing and come in the programs and try to track them okay it doesn't work that way okay in this case I have let's say this okay th this tree and this another tree okay and then import your background so I have these two images which is the castle and the mountains okay let's start it okay first you right click and then new hit node object here okay then you will have that no object what no object does is to be like a representative of something that it will be there but actually it's not gonna really show us yeah you know what I mean so click on your footage and then go to tracker but if there's nothing on the your window you can go to window and then hit on tracker here okay okay so what we're going to do is track so we hit that track motion okay and then there's gonna be one point here but then because the camera is too shaky so we need to do the rotation here and hit on it and then see we have two boxes here so one box on the other side and the other box on the other side and the more you make it bigger is the more it would take time to track them okay and then if you get the right position now you hit that analyze forwards and then would we'll take time a little okay that's you could go through it again and see yeah that's done pretty good job and then you click here edit target okay and we want you want to make sure it's going to the the no one here no object okay because sometimes when you have so many layers and then yes it accidentally you got messed up because it linked to another layers so you want to make sure to the to that layer no and then hit okay and then hit apply here and then x and y yes okay okay and what it does here all the no object is will move exactly the way the track and after that let's do the mountains first okay drag that down okay maybe scale it down a little oh too little okay and then just parent it that you know you can see here and parent it to null object so and then when we play it see now it's it stick there and then it's compositing okay so let's duplicate that put it on the top and what I'm like to using is keying so we need the mountain to be on the background so I'm using linear key here and then hit on white see it's get rid of the white stuff but we got something going on there so yes we might want to get rid of that that's too much okay something like that should be fine 
Okay, but we still see that no object, so just shut that off. See, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, and you could do the castle here. And you do the same thing, you know, parent it to no object here. So, and then it would hit here, no object. And then maybe scale it down a little. Okay, awesome. And the other one thing is, there's another plug-in, it's called Camera Tracker. This plug-in do a very, very good job on tracking, so you might want to check that out, but I'm not going to go into that, okay? So, I'm just going to go with whatever we have here, okay? So, do the color correction. Okay, what I like to use is color balance. Let's do it here. Just going to adjust it. And also the depths here, it's supposed to be a little bit blur, so we might want to add it blur, or it could be fast blur. Let's do like two. And then we want to do a little bit tricky here, because when you see it's something far away, you're going to see a little bit of smoke and fog from the ground, right? So right click, new, and solid. Let's do it white, okay? and drag it down here okay so we have all solid and then we're going to use the masking something like that there okay and maybe feather it out there something like that and put behind the castle okay alright and then parent it to no object here and then let's name it fog okay like that and parent it to no object also do the opacity like 50 well done actually okay something like that. maybe it's not really realistic but you know just get you some idea of what you wanna do and you know okay and then let's turn the motion blur here on these two and also this one you know, you could do another adjustment layer or whatever you want to do. So, thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and understand it. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask me and give me a comment below this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.